It has been two years of jostling, tagging and pulling as each coalition partner attempted to pull their weight. Despite the successes of the Grand Coalition government in steering Kenya out of the dark period of post-election violence, the government still finds itself mad in squabbles. The principals, however, came out with their left nuns to celebrate two years since the signing of the peace accord and probably to seek God's intervention in leading them through the remainder of their current term. The two leaders appeared to be reading from the same script when they stood to address the congregation. I can say without fear of contradiction that quite a lot has been achieved given the circumstances under which we have been operating. We have completed those years in peace and in good spirit. The principals were quick to reiterate their commitment to building national cohesion among the citizenry citing the formation of the National Cohesion and Integration Commission to spearhead national healing following the post-election crisis as an example. We need to get together, not to get wasted in temporary quarrels. With the constitution review process now at a crucial stage, the abortion debate was also revisited. Let us not make a law that allows parliament to allow abortion. This is not the time for us to engage in grandstanding. The principles appear to have set the mood and the foundation for yet another year of unity in the Grand Coalition government. I wish Raila and his wife and everybody else please have a prosperous life. Now, this is not the first time that Kenyans are getting such assurance from the two principles. But with political stakes rising by the day and the next general election beckoning, Kenyans can only hope that the tenacity of the Grand Coalition government will not reach breaking point. Franklin Masharia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.